behind me is the plaque of Leighton McKnight, managing partner at PricewaterhouseCoopers, who will be receiving the Order of Distinction Commander Class for Public Service, Philanthropy and Community Service. As our series on the 2030 National Honorees continues, we turn the spotlight on this distinguished Jamaican who has given his time and talent to serve others. The Order of Distinction, Jamaica's sixth highest honor, is conferred on citizens who have rendered outstanding and important service to the nation, with its highest rank being that of commander. Come Heroes Day, that's the award Leighton Ainsworth Matt Knight will receive for his work in public service. From a professional standpoint, Mr. Matt Knight's track record has been impeccable. I'm the managing partner of PwC PricewaterhouseCoopers, and our leading firm of accountants and consultants in Jamaica. I've been doing that just over two years, but I've been at the firm for over 30 years. I've served in various capacities, leading the audit practice, been in charge of human capital, marketing, etc. I've also done a lot in the accounting field. I've served as president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants, as secretary and director of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of the Caribbean. I've, uh, I'm now what you call the ACCA, that's a professional examining body. I'm the International Assembly representative for Jamaica. I'm doing this from the, for the past five years. So I've been very involved in my field and my profession. And outside of the workplace, he has made significant contributions as chairman of a number of committees, both in the public and private sectors. Among his more outstanding appointments, the first and current chairman of the Government of Jamaica Audit Commission and chairman of the Independent Commission for the Judiciary. I've always believed that you're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution. And I want to see myself as a part of the solution to help. But my mantra is to see what you can do to fix it rather than just pointing out the problems. So I have been fortunate to be in a pro pro um, profession that really gives you a lot of experience and expertise to really do a lot to make better systems, both in government and in the private sector. That spirit of volunteerism and generosity was nurtured from a young age. I'm going back from my early days, my grandmother, I remember, she always had a passion for sharing our food with the neighbors or where I was passing. You saw now I'm at the time, to be honest, because there's this particular man, he was always timing when the food was ready, and grandma would always share some of it, you know. But little did I know, she was really teaching us from that age to give back. So I'm from a family, you know, of giving back. My grandmother, my mother, my aunts. And I learned to share, I learned to give back, and that has stayed with me right throughout. In addition to various committees and work with service organizations, Mr. McKnight has sponsored several children, paying for school fees and providing other financial support. Mr. McKnight confesses that children mean the world to him. And it was this love that prompted him to establish the K-Teach Foundation and help to build the oral rehydration unit at the Bustamante Hospital for Children. I have a passion for children and I personally, don't like to say it publicly, but in this context, you know, adopted several children. When I look back there, maybe over 30 children that I've assisted through school. I have people who are lawyers, you know, people who are doing medicine, um, some inner city kids who have their masters now. I have a number of them in high school and you know that is maybe one of my strongest motivators. While declaring that their success is his success, Mr. McKnight says he's humbled by this national acknowledgement. My passion for Jamaica being honored by the Jamaican government, it means a lot. It means a lot to me and it means a lot to my family, my co-workers, my colleagues, my Kiwanians, everybody. And his advice to other Jamaicans? Don't worry about what others are not doing. Do what you can do. We fight.